Hello, welcome to Stereo Pixel. In this video, we will discuss the poly count option in Maya. Poly count is a very useful option for especially modelers to count your vertices, edges, faces, UVs, and triangles of your model. Now, poly count can be found under display heads of display. So now we will see the use of poly count option. Here I can see there are five categories names words, edges, faces, trees and UVs. Words mean vertices, edges, faces, trees means the triangles. So each quad that means each four sided polygon contains two triangles. So each triangle is called a trace. So now I can see only a uh, left column gives you some numbers and the middle and the right column gives you some zeros. In the left column the number of vertices is 264 that means in this scene there are total 264 vertices, 515 edges, 251 faces and the double of 251 that means 502 trees and 621 UVs. This value is changed when we add some more polygonal objects in our particular scene. If I create a new sphere, I will see immediately the numbers of the left column is now changed. So now it is showing the total vertices are 646 that means in this scene there are total 646 vertices and similarly the number of edges and faces are now changed. The middle column shows you the number of uh, vertices and edges and faces and all for the selected item only. So if I select the ear I will see the number of vertices and edges are displaying in the middle column. If I select the sphere I will see the numbers are now changed. So it gives you the component details for selected item only and at the right side of the poly count option I will see the active number of vertices and edges and faces. So if I select the ear and uh, go to the component mode and if I drag and select a particular vertex I will see the vertex area is now activated by one. So that means one vertex is active in that particular selected object which has 264 vertices. So out of 264 vertices, one vertex is active. So if I drag and select some more vertices, I will see the number of vertices are now 41. Similarly, if I go to the face mode and drag and select some faces, I will see it's giving me the details for trees only. Now, what is the difference when I select the faces, it's showing me the number of trees are 1760. Whereas if I press 1 on the keyboard, I will see the number is now changed to 110. That's because when I press 3 on my keyboard to get a smooth mesh preview, it actually divides the number of faces into 3 times to give us that smooth preview. That means the subdivision level of that ear is, is multiplied by 3 when I press 3 on my keyboard to see the smooth mesh preview. So it calculates the total face, the subdivision 3 faces and gives me the result. Whereas if I press 1 on my keyboard and drag some faces, I will see the faces are now also visible it's like 86 faces and 172 trees are active. Similarly, if I go to the vertex and now drag and select some vertices, I will see the total number of vertices. As because pressing the 3 button on your keyboard doesn't change the number of vertices of your model, it only changes the number of faces to give us the smooth preview. So the number of vertices remains the same whether I press 3 on my keyboard or not. If I go to the edge mode and drag select some edges, now I will see the number of edges as highlighted whereas if I press 3 on my keyboard I will see no edges are displaying over here. 
So that is all about the poly count option which is very useful to count your number of polys, number of triangles and all. Hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you.